G'day and welcome back to a brand new series. This one might actually be the craziest one yet. We've found ourselves on this little patch of sand halfway between Australia and Indonesia. here for about a week and as you guys know we're just surviving from the ocean so at some point today we've got to catch a fish. Yes, bro, we've got a fish. You just can't catch yes. Yes. There's crazy big teeth and they smash up your lures. Most terrified I've ever been of the ocean. Huge waves crashing down. So at some point last night, the tow point on the salty ginger snapped. Had to jump in, swim out to the boat. Got probably another 12 hours of this. The ocean could be a wild beast, and I'm really seeing it. There's full force at the moment. Side of the boat is broken into numerous pieces. Yeah, this is just not ideal. Oh, shit. I to wonder whether it was such a good idea or we've had a couple of sleepless nights. A little bit nervous at the moment to be honest, but there's three figures have pulled in on the beach down the other side of this sand cave and they're slowly walking this way. Oh, you speak English? No English, eh? No, no. The salty dingo is as heavy as it could ever be. We've got to launch it on the beach here without getting bogged. How are you not launchable? Uh, so, I'm going to reverse back, Fran. Yeah. Get back to where the boats hopefully hope. Deep enough, hit the brakes. The the boat will skid off somewhat and then help me push it off and then you jump in the car and take it up. Mm. Alright? Clear as mud. <laughs> that one. Yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, wow. Don't bust that. <laughs> Alright. We should do an introduction, Fran. We haven't actually introduced this yet, but G'day and welcome back to a brand new series. This one might actually be the craziest one yet. I'd where, say the greatest of all adventures. Where are we going? We hitchhiking at right and towing the salty dingo halfway to Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah, someone is stressed. Oh, I'm absolutely <laughs> stressing here. So we're probably 24 hours towing into the 30 hour trip and the, the salty dingo is not having a good time out the back. It's, it's, it's getting flooded with waves over the front, but we're very nervous, we're almost there. This is gonna be a wild ride. If you guys are up for an adventure, click subscribe and come along with us. It's gonna be awesome. Brand means business. Let's go. <laughs> Um, obviously the boat's been towed all night. We had a, a pretty restless night, constantly checking on it. And we're now well and truly into the open ocean here and it's getting a little bit rougher. So we've got all that weight up the front of the salty dingo, which is really bad for towing, but there's no other option. There's no turning back now. We've got our fingers and toes crossed. Hopefully the salty dingo can make it out to where we're gonna set up base camp.
like everything's made it. Oh. Oh, the salt did you go? Oh no. So the good news is the salty dingo's made it out here. The bad news is it's copped a hell of a beating and the side of the boat is broken into numerous pieces. Thankfully, it looks like there's no damage to the the hull where the water comes in but this yeah this is just not ideal oh shit i'm sorry salty dingo i didn't know it'd be that rough mate uh oh oh we gotta get set up camp before sunset but I think it's kind of nothing short of a miracle that the boat's still floating at the moment. Holy moly. Jump on. Awesome. Okay, Sweet, bro. We'll see ya. Awesome. See ya, mate. Starting to wonder whether this was really such a good idea. We're out here halfway to Indonesia. The boat's got a crack down the side of it. We're in 0.6 of a meter on a dropping tide, and we might be about to run aground. On reef. It is so shallow. That's the sand cave, Fran. So that's the sand cave we'd heard about out here in the middle of the ocean. And we're trying to get in there, but getting a way in is proving quite difficult. And if we don't get in now, the boat goes high and dry and sits on the reef. So it's a real race against the tide, but fingers crossed we can find somewhere, Fran. We obviously want to anchor the boat out of the wind, so we're going to try and get just around this corner here, but I don't know if we're going to make it, friend. Yeah, yeah, no rocks. Good job, Captain. Oh. Sorry if we're a little bit flat at the moment. We kind of had these hopes of arriving to the sunset, and crystal clear water and big fish and waves, but then it's kind of um, changed. And then you realize that we're on this little patch of sand halfway to between Australia and Indonesia and the boat's leaking. And I don't really know how the, the next couple of weeks are gonna play out. But for now, friend, let's set up camp. Oh, it's a 
There's these two big green turtles that have um, obviously died up on this sand car here. We're not sure what has caused it, but they come up, as you can see, the tracks coming up to lay. For whatever reason, these two couldn't make it back in the water. Plastic. What have you found? Plastic? Yeah. I'm gonna come and collect it tomorrow, okay? Okay. A float. A bomb. Mm, kids toy. So there's once again a lot of plastic washed up here, so we'll get it all um, into one spot. And there's a little bit of driftwood as well, so I think we'd be able to have a fire at some point and yeah, burn the majority of that plastic. It is, yeah, it's good. There's a little bit of driftwood, so we'll be able to have a fire um, to cook our fish also. What have you found? I have seen this kind of... Yeah, starfish. Flip it over, it's a cushion sea star. Cushion sea star that's been deflated. Yeah, it's like shrunk. Yeah. On this turtle truck, it's crazy. It's just like so deep. A motorbike. Oh, yeah. Uh, truck. Yeah, wow. And it's like turtle nets everywhere. All the way up, eh? Am I going to see one tonight? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The sand's really nice, Fran, which is good. Oh, gross. Was that a good idea, friend? Should we keep the shell? <laughs> That's your little hot foot tonight. <laughs> We're unsure what is killing these green turtles, whether it's just really strange to see three dead turtles in the space of this little sand cave. It stinks, friend. It's not that bad. So what's your first <laughs> impressions of the sand cave we're calling home for a little while? Well, it looks like it's a death trap. Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Hopefully, it does, it's it? not the same for us. Yeah. We, Hopefully. Yeah. That was a little bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't die out here like the turtles and everything else that steps foot out here. <gasps> Sun setting. It ain't all bad, friend. <laughs> I'm really Very. struggling to boost morale at the I moment know, when the too. boats. Buggered. Yeah. Yeah. Boat's broken. Oh, green flash. Ooh. No, it doesn't exist. No green flash. And there you go, the first sunset of what's set to be many out here. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, morale lifts a little bit over the next couple of days and we can repair this boat somewhat so we don't sink out here. All right, I really hope this is nothing, but there's three figures have pulled in on the beach down the other side of this sand cave and uh, are slowly walking this way and constantly stopping. The way they're acting is quite suspicious. Fran's gone down to the boat to kind of hide and lay low down there. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna see how this, how this plays out. A little bit nervous at the moment, to be honest. We're feeling incredibly vulnerable at this moment. I was always taught never to bring a knife to a fight unless you were prepared to use it. But I was also taught always be prepared to defend yourself if needed. So this was a moment of realization that we might have bitten off more than we could chew on this adventure. With Fran hidden in the boat, I made the decision once they passed a certain point, I approached them on the beach. I wanted to have the confrontation as far away from our campsite as possible. Hello, mister. From, from Indonesia? Oh, from Australia? Oh, English? Oh, Tripang fishing? Oh, good, good. 
You, you speak English? No, no. No English, eh? Oh. No English, eh? Bagus, eh? Bagus, bagus. See this turtle? This one here? This one? This one, um, Bagus Makali? Bagus, Bagus. Bagus, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, well, I've managed to calm myself down enough to pull out a camera, but the adrenaline was sort of pumping there for a little bit. Basically, three shadows came out right on sunset. But no matter who they were, where they were from, and piracy in this part of the world is a potential risk, a potential problem. So, um, you know, we had to be cautious. Fran has now come out from her hiding spot in the boat where you were hugging the e-perb. Yeah, put the e-perb down. Yeah, That's I've so brave. yeah I've put the machete away, which I was yielding. Um, thankfully, the visitors were Indonesian fishermen. We couldn't really share too much of a conversation, um, but what I did pick up is the word trepang. So these, get, which is a, a sea slug or a sea cucumber, and these guys are fishermen from Indonesia that are here for the trepang or the sea slug. So yeah, it was a bit touch and go there for a while. So adrenaline was pumping, um, but I think we're safe now, friend. Brand's not so sure, but we'll see. <laughs> the um, the first day slash night has been rather eventful. Hopefully, um, things go a little smoother and to plan for the rest of our time here. I think they can get any worse. Yeah, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> like the book and still sink. Yeah, hopefully not. All right. Good night, guys. Shut up. Dun, dun. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good we'll night. see you in the morning. Good night.